understand your adversary, enemy, to, to know its, its uh, abilities and, and the capabilities. But uh, uh, for today, it is, it is better to understand the concerns and hesitations of the enemy as well before get get a conflict with, with the enemy. Sun Tzu always said that the uh, most important battles are the ones you can win without fighting. Actually, I think that uh, Sun Tzu was really the first thinker who understood uh, warfare as a political process. I think that's also probably why he started by saying that uh, the best way to achieve victory is without war. Sun Tzu proposes ways in which battles can be won most effectively. Deception, the use of spies, figure prominently. War is a matter of vital importance to the state, the province of life or death, the road to survival or ruin. No country benefits from a protracted war. Those adept at waging war do not require a second levy of conscripts, nor more than one provision. Sun Tzu's book is, is a, a basically a, a reference book for many military stuff, but also it includes some strategies for how to keep peace. Uh, so these are also interested for uh, academics like us, focus on uh, to how to build up a, a sustainable and uh, resilient uh, international uh, peace in general. Keeping peace is much more important than uh, going to war. So then, uh, so in that regard, war is a very unnecessary or final uh, stage of uh, disagreement uh, in, for the states, uh, persons, and states in general. The book of Sanzo uh, is is focusing on diplomacy. You know, he's saying that the art of war is not to win the war through guns and in shooting. He said, like, if you don't even fire a single shot and you win the war, that's called the art of war. And it's more diplomacy, it's more negotiation, it's more communication. So it's really inspiring. Those adept at waging war do not require a second levy of conscripts, nor more than one provision. As we look at Ukraine, we see that Russia had to get more conscripts, and Ukraine requires constant provisioning. And Swan Zimbingfa is still relevant to students of warfare in the 21st century. I hope you will agree that the war in Ukraine should be a wake-up call that solving problems by military force is a desperate gamble that does not always work out as planned. How can Sun's art of war guide a less kinetic approach to managing crisis? I can suggest three ways, though there may be more. The first is to establish stronger economic-centric and development-oriented tools for managing interstate relations. The second would be to engage and facilitate de-escalation and agreement using good offices. That would be persuasion. And the third is to ensure that there are no exceptions to abiding by international laws when it comes to humanitarian leave, relief and protecting civilians, passivity. Now China has already established a framework for using economic development, uh, economic development oriented policies to create influence beyond its borders through the Belt and Road Initiative. Sun Tzu's Art of War is for the most part a treatise on how to win battles. The battle China needs to win in the world today is how to match global aspiration to the responsibility for peace and security.